How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle. Today we're in a battle versus Black Mamba in the underused tier. Let me know who you think is going to win based on the TV you see on screen right now and please like and subscribe for more videos like this one. With that being said, let's jump into the game. And the battle begins. Good luck have for Mamba. So they're going to lead off with Unique. The Noivern as we lead off with our Sandy Shock. So they might expect straight away a Terra Ice, Terra Blast. There's always a possibility. So I'm going to go for the Stealth Rocks. I don't see any reason not to. So they go for a Draco Meteor, which is going to take us down to our Sash probably. Doesn't quite get us down to our Sash, um, but it does a lot of damage nonetheless. We get the Stealth Rocks up, which is great. Now, are they going to be Defog on the Noivern? So we've got a couple of options here. We either expect the Defog. And we switch out into something to counteract that. I'm, I'm thinking Psychic are because they're not going to go for another Draco Meteor, surely. Or they might. They might do. They might do. I say we go for the Registeel switch. I think Registeel does really, really well against their entire team. Um, so let's go into that. I mean, other than the Conkelder, obviously, and the Barrasquita with close combat. But, you know, other than that, it's uh, doing pretty well. So we're going to Colgate real quick. They go for a U-turn, which is to be expected. So it looks like they haven't got Defog, which is fair enough. And they may be Defog on the Conkelder, which is a thing. It is a thing. Defog on Conkelder is a thing. In comes Special Attack.exe, which is going to be the Porygon. That's fair enough. So they U-turn into the Porygon against the Registeel, which is an interesting choice. So let's see what they're going to do. We get some leftovers recovery, which is always nice. Gets us back up to full. Um, I'm guessing they're not expecting us to do anything to them. So I'm going to go for a Thunder Wave. I think Thunder Wave is a good option. So they go for a Trick, which is interesting. I should have really seen the Trick coming, but I didn't... I think they would like just straight up trick us when we can just do this, which is go for a Thunder Wave. Um, completely crippling their Paragon Z, unless we miss. We don't miss. We get a nice Thunder Wave off on the Paragon Z, which is great. Um, that's always going to be helpful. But we are locked into Thunder Wave right now. So what can we do? Are they going to be nasty plot? That's the real question. So we, they are paralyzed, so we can go into whatever we want to take any hit um to, to to deal with this thing to deal with this thing so our only physical attacker is is the hydragon weirdly enough um so i think the play here is to go sandy sharks just in case they do nasty plot um and also just to sack it off to whatever they might want to go for if they want to switch out anything like that so we'll go into magneto the sandy sharks it's got the stealth frog stuff it's done its job um so they do withdraw which is fair enough uh, I could have gone for another Thunder Wave there. And they go into Bruto, which is going to be the Conkelder. So that thing's probably got Defog, right? Probably got Defog. So they're either going to go for a Defog here or they're going to go for a Mark Punch to take us out. I don't want them to Defog. Slash, I want to get some damage off on this thing. So I'm going to go straight for the... Uh, I think Thunderbolt's probably better. So I'm going to go for a Thunderbolt just to get some damage off on this thing. So they go for a Mark Punch, which is fair enough. They're going to get rid of the Sandy Shocks first. Um, they could still be Defog. They could still be Defog. We haven't seen what item it's got yet. Um, so let's go into... What can we go into here? I'm thinking Ninetales. So I'm going to go Ninetales. Go into Kuruma, Kura, Kurama. <laughs> I can never pronounce it. I nickname them things I can never pronounce. Um, let's go for a... I want to go. I don't want to go for a Willow just in case they are Guts without, let, without Flame Orb. It could be Guts. I, I kind of want to Encore them. So I'm going to go for the Encore. I think Encore is a good play. Encore them into that Mark Punch. Stop them from going for a Defog. Because um, Defog will be bad. Okay. Um, so now they go for a Mark Punch. Does a lot of damage, but not too much. And now we go for a Fire Blast. They probably switch into Pelipper here, which is fair enough if they do. I think we can handle that still. So they withdraw. Um, they're probably going to go Pelipper. If I knew they were going to go Pelipper, I should have probably switched out, but I didn't. They're going to go into Unique, which is going to be the Noivern. Interesting. So they go Noiva and they get hit by stone. So they're not heavy duty boots. They're probably the um, normal gem or the throat spray, whichever one you want to call it. They are probably going to drop a Draco right now. So I am going to go straight into my Registeel. I know Registeel. I know it's choice scarfed, but it's still a good answer to a Noiva. So we withdraw our nine tails, which is great. And we're going to go into our Registeel, which is also great. If they go for a Defog here, then it's fine. They go for a U-turn, probably straight back out into that Conkelder, if I had to guess. So they're going to withdraw with the U-turn. What are they going to go into, though? Are they going to go into the Conk, or are they going to go Pelipper to get the rain up, finally? Bruto comes in the Conkelder, which is fair enough. Bruto comes in. Get some stones dug in. Probably going to go for a Drain Punch, to be honest with you. 
probably a drain punch if I had to guess. Um, I'm definitely going to withdraw. And I'm leaning towards the uh, Venusaur switch. I think Venusaur is my only switch. So I'm going to go Venusaur. I think Venusaur is the only switch we can go for really here. So we'll withdraw into Venusaur like so. And then we won't go for Solar Beam because they could switch into Pelipper and make us do a two-turn attack. They go for a Defog though. Defog's fair enough. So Defog is a good play. Defog is a very good play. What we can do now is if we assume they're going to go Gudra, we could go for Growth. Growth could be a really good option for us. Um, I think I will go for the Growth option. I think Growth is a good option for us. So Growth comes through. They do stay in. To do what though? Knock off? It's going to sting a little bit. Gets rid of our Life Orb. But now we get a free Sludge Bomb off on whatever we want. So I'm going to go for the Sludge Bomb. I don't care. I'm going for a Sludge Bomb. Venusaur is going to come through for us. Sludge Bomb comes through on the Conkelda. It's a clean KO with a critical hit. I don't know whether the crit mattered or not. Maybe if they're especially defensive. But Conkelda goes down, which is fantastic. That's one fighting type out of the way. Now they basically have to go Pelipper or Gudra. Bubbles comes in. That's got to be the Pelipper, right? Yeah, Pelipper comes in. So we do outspeed the Pelipper. And which is good to note. Let's go for a Sludge Bomb. We should outspeed the Pelipper. Oh, I might have just made a mistake. They withdraw. What are they going to go into? Gudra? Has to be Gudra, right? Gum drops. That's got to be Gudra. Yeah, Gudra comes in. Nice and shiny. Got to love it. We go for a Sludge Bomb. That's going to sting a little bit. Not too much. No poison, which is unfortunate. Poison would have been nice there. And now... We're in a very bit of a predicament. So what I'm going to do is, because I know they're going to drop a Draco, I'm going to go for a Registeel switch. I think Registeel's a fine switch here. So we withdraw our Venusaur, Brute Root over here. And we're going to go into our nice and powerful Registeel. I would have gone into Ninetales, but if they're going to drop a Draco, then I don't want to be there for that. They do drop a Draco, so Registeel's the perfect Pokemon to take that. I mean, look at how well it takes that. That's just like absolutely incredible. Really good stuff that is from um, Registeel right there. So... What do we do here against this thing? I'd say we go for Thunder Wave. Now, hear me out. They're probably going to switch out, right? So we go for a Thunder Wave. And if they are Hydration Gudra, they go for Protect. Because they want to see what the, we're going to lock ourselves into. Which is fair enough. They have to go into something to get Thunder Wave now. Pretty much. Right? They have to. They either stay in with this thing. Get Thunder Waved. Or they switch out into the Pelipper or the Barrascuda or they go into the Porygon Z. So I think they go into the Porygon Z personally. So I'm going to use this as an opportunity to get Ninetales in. So we'll switch Ninetales in like so. We actually outspeed. Is that because of the Choice Scarf? Or is it because we're just naturally... Because they're going for something else. I'd go into Porygon Z if I knew, if I knew my opposing Pokemon was locked in. Skulls. If I knew, because they know we've got Choice Scarf, they know we're locked into Thunder Wave. Why not just go into Porygon Z? Because then we can't do anything to it. But either way, it's fine. Let's go for a... Um, let's go for a Willow. I, I, I feel like they switch out knowing we're going to go for an Encore. So they withdraw. Are they going to go straight into Pelipper though? That's the real question. Bubbles comes in. That's the Pelipper. So Pelipper comes in. Makes a lot of sense to go into Pelipper there. And they get the rain up, as you'd expect. We get a Will-O-Wisp off. There we go. We hit the Will-O-Wisp, which is nice. A bit of chip damage on the Pelipper every turn. Because they're probably damp rock. So chip damage is permanent. Unless they have Roost. But they probably do have Roost. But I don't think they'll go for it this early. So don't worry about that too, too much yet. So what I'm going to do is... I'm now going to switch out. I'm going to go into Cyclozar. And the reason I'm going Cyclozar is because I don't really need Cyclozar that much. I've got a good Dragon type in the back, Hydreigon, which could go through their team if we get the Sun up permanently. So we go into Cyclozar because nothing on their team wants to switch in on the Draco Meteor, really. So if we can go into Cyclozar here, we basically get a KO. So they go for a Hurricane. We live that, right? We do live that. No Poison, which is nice. Pe poison. Confusion, which is nice. Now we drop a Draco. And the only thing they can do is switch Gudra in or sack off the Porygon Z, pretty much. So they withdraw bubbles. They don't want to get dropped to Draco on, which makes a lot of sense. And they're going to go into Unique once again, the Noivern. And they're going to let Noivern go down, which is great. So we hit the Draco Meteor. Down goes Unique. And now they bring Barrascuda in. 100% bring Barrascuda in so that they can just start laying into our team a little bit. So 
There's a couple of options for the Barrasque to play. We can't go Nine Tails, that's for sure. So they're going to go into Jetsum, which is going to be the Barrasque. Nice and shiny as well, gotta love it. Let's see what we can do here. So I'm, I'm leaning towards sacking Registeel. Well, Registeel does so well against Gudra. You know, it, it's so well. Um, or sacking off the, the, the Cyclers are going into Ninetales and then hard switching. So they go for Liquidation, which is fine. That's going to take out Cyclers are, which is no problem. Cyclers are, I'm happy for Cyclers are to go down. Um, because it means Registeel gets to stay healthy and it means we get a free switch in with Ninetales right now. So Ninetales can come in freely. Freely come in Ninetales. Get the Drought up. However, we still die to a liquidation if it's banded. So, do we assume... I think we go Hydreigon. I think we go Hydreigon because they're going to switch out. They're going to flip turn anyway, right? And Hydreigon stands a better chance against the rest of his team as opposed to, say, this thing. So they actually stay in a liquidation in the sun, which is going to do nothing, by the way. Absolutely nothing. This is a good opportunity for us to get a Dragon Dance off. They're not going to expect Dragon Dance on the Dra Hydreigon, that's for sure. They probably, if anything, they go Porygon Z or they go Gudra here. They won't want to bring the Pelipper in on a Draco Meteor, that's for sure. But they withdraw. They withdraw, which is great. And now they're going to go into Bubbles. So if we can get rid of the Pelipper here, we are in a very good position. So they get the Drizzle up. Because here's the thing, if we can if we can get Venusaur in, Venusaur goes heavy against their team in the sun. Heavy. So we get the burn on them, which is great. Um, after a Dragon Dance, I'm pretty confident Scale Shot will take them out. So I'm going to go for the Scale Shot, get that extra speed boost. Um, it does lower our defenses, but we should be all right. Scale Shot comes through. It might actually knock KO if it hits four times. Heck, if it hits five times, it ain't KO in. That's the fifth time right there. It ain't KOing. Which is very unfortunate. But at the same time, if we can live this attack and get off another scale shot and get that third speed boost, there's the hurricane. No confusion, which is great. Great for us. Now we go for another scale shot. If we miss, it is all over for Hydreigon. If we hit... We get a third speed boost, meaning we outspeed the Barrascuda and thus outspeed everything on the team. They withdraw the Pelipper because they need the Pelipper. For if we get the rain up, they go into special attack.exe, which is the Porygon Z. Hydreigon might actually do this again. Scale shot come through. There we go. So now, after this one. There we go. Yes. After this one, we outspeed the Barrascuda. We should do anyway, because we're at, we're at plus three, they're at plus two in the rain. So we should outspeed the Barrascuda, but the Barrascuda is naturally so much faster than Hydreigon. We, we might actually not. They're going to Jetsum now. Are they going to have Aqua Jet? They could have Aqua Jet, Aqua Jet to be fair. We can't risk a scale shot. We're going to have to go for a crunch. We're going to have to go for a crunch here. Crunch goes through. We do outspeed. Oh... That was satisfying. Taking out that Barrascuda in like one hit. I don't think the crit mattered because we were at plus one attack. I don't think the crit mattered because Barrascuda is very frail. But Gumdrops comes in the Gudra. This thing's going to Terror, right? This thing's going to Terror, so we Earthquake, right? Yeah, we Earthquake because they're going to Terror. They protect. They protect. They knew we were going to... Ah, oh, good play. So that Earthquake's going to come through. They knew we had Earthquake. Now we just go for a scale shot, right? We definitely go for a scale shot here. I think. I think. Let's go for it. Let's go for the scale shot. Watch them Terra Fairy now. Watch them Terra Fairy now. Scale shot comes through. We don't miss, which is nice. Clean free hit KO, which is amazing. Hydreigon coming through again. Hydreigon coming through again. This Pokemon is busted. Like... <laughs> Hydreigon is really good. Like, we did not need the weather at all. Like, the, the weather's worked against... Not against them, but the weather has not worked in their favor. Hydreigon is coming through. In comes Bubbles, the treasure hunter, the Pelipper. Boom. Let's go for a crunch. 
and take this thing out. And that is going to be the game. Hydreigon came through again. Scale shot Hydreigon is really good. <laughs> GG, man. But that was a really fun one. I enjoyed that thoroughly. Thank you for your time and your patience and everything. But anyway, here is the team. Try it out if you want to use the code at the top right corner of the screen. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, of course, leave a like, subscribe, all that wonderful stuff. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.